are traveling to do some work with unimpressed Jeff. And what happened, Boo Bear? Um, so we're on our way up to York from Stoke and the alternator has been misbehaving for a little while. If for the first 10 minutes of any journey, it, the battery light is on because it isn't charging, but, real, but consistently, um, it's been, the alternator's been kicking in again. So I've been all right. Uh, it's just been a weird anomaly, but today we've got as far as Derby and the alternator light is still on and I fear it is the alternator. If it's not the alternator, then it's some component contained there within, uh, like the regulator, it's all part of the alternator. So, we're now going to Euro Park to pick up an alternator <laughs> and a new belt, which fingers and toes crossed, I can fit at the side of the road. Which is so, and then still go onward to York to do the work that we need to do, because as well as that, we've made arrangements to see Spunky and Katie at the weekend, which I don't want to cancel. We've already been vague about when it is that we'd arrive, so I don't want to be go one worse than that and just not turn up at all. So, let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, it's always been an adventure. <laughs> Then loosen the wheel nuts and then jack it up. Then take the inner sleeve out and see if we can get access to the alternator. Jesus. It's a good job it's not absolutely baking today. At least we found a nice shady spot. Always look at the bright side. <laughs> nice, you just got all organized recently. It's exciting. <laughs> yeah. So, this is an AGM battery from a Mercedes SL. Ooh, they have to be they have to be swapped every two years, apparently. So, um, I've got a perfectly good Mercedes AGM battery, uh, but was slightly too big, so body work had to be marred and modified, but that's okay. <laughs> don't really need to mess around with that one, I just did want to make sure it was nipped up tight. Right. It's not the way to do it. Which is why you crack the nuts. Pedro's got new tires, he's got a new windshield, now he's getting a new alternator. So I think it's not poor poor Pedro, it's it's poor us really. <laughs> it's amazing how much fans are. So what's this cost in the last? About what, 600 pounds? Yeah. What's the alternator? So 800 quid. You know those people who rent vans or, or lease vans? People 
and say, oh, well, you're better off buying a van, well, are you? Mm -hmm. For work. I'm not talking about van life, I'm talking about work. Anywho, that's out of the way. <laughs> You look at Pedro and he is in remarkably good shape to be fair. There's a bit of rot here and there. Here, so bend it out of the way rather than moving. There's the alternator. That seems great to be fair. Good news. Oh, if it gives me a couple of inches of space, that's all I need at the moment. I'll be able to rotate it upwards in a minute. We've got right, there we go. Give yourself a tiny little bit more space now. That's the old one. Doing as much grunting as I am because it's hot and I didn't want to do this. But also, didn't have to do my back in yesterday. This is like the worst day. Ah, but there you go. Smiley, smiley. Sexy though. What is? You. I have your eight spinner. Your eight millimeter roundy thing, I mean. That's roundy. If that was the easy bit, what's the hard bit? The hard bit now is getting the belt back on. I was thinking about the belt back on. Whoa. You wouldn't think something so small would be so difficult. <laughs> about 11.40. We've been here about probably an hour and 20 minutes. I think that's pretty good to take the alternator, the tire off, belt, take the alternator out, put the new alternator in. I found myself a pretty talented man. Not a mechanic. Not a mechanic. <laughs> so you know you can't be too fast, can you? Like honestly. Do you have a man that can just buy an alternator and fit it in a parking lot? Because it's, it's pretty sexy, to be
the batteries unplugged. Batteries. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna see what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Got myself over to Oh <laughs> Right then. Can I stand here and watch the belt go? Yeah. <laughs> watch it go ping. Ping, oh god. It's so quiet. It's fine with me. Is that? I thought it wasn't loud enough. I thought it wasn't working. I was just standing there going, um. <laughs> no, that's it. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> well, we're going. There's my boo bear. Fix an alternator. I didn't fix the alternator, I replaced it. Replace the alternator? We'll get the other one serviced and then we'll have it as a spare one. Did you get the other one off the, the ground? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In a quarter of a mile at the roundabout. Woo wee, everybody! So that was the start to our day, and what did you just say? How not? How not to. Start your day. <laughs> how not to start your day. <laughs> just how not ever. Just yeah. never do that. It's a rubbish <laughs> idea. Yeah. But after two hours, uh, he did it. Is that how long Shame. it took me? It took, oh, That's actually, shameful, that is. Not really. really. No, because it was 10 o'clock when we decided we were going to go get the alternator. So technically it was only an hour and a half. So two hours ago we decided we were going to go get the alternator. And then, oh. <laughs> that was poor clutch control. That got absolutely nothing to do with the alternator. That's just my inability to drive. Uh, oh god. Alright, so here we go. Two hours to York. And then maybe we'll actually have some fun this weekend. Just, just <laughs> we definitely will. Yeah. Pressure's off now. Yeah. We need some drinks. Yay! Well that that's it. That's it guys. I'm leaving you now. Bye. Alternator's fixed. <laughs> we, we got End that. of video.